from Crimea Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Crimea Report. Given the skills shortage facing the South African engineering sector, Babcock Education and Training, a subsidiary of Babcock International Group Africa, aims to provide the necessary training services to equip individuals with the skills needed in high demand sectors. Sabrina Jardim tells us more. Speaking to Engineering News during an open day on July 18th, Babcock Africa Human Resources Director Dr. Hamilton Sitole discussed the importance of addressing the skills gaps in South Africa, particularly in technical and supervisory roles. Through Babcock Education and Training, Babcock aims to create a pipeline of skilled workers through its training programs and industry partnerships. Specifically, two levels, supervisory level and supervisory capability and technical skills. The technical skills could be anything from a welding to diesel mechanic, auto mechanic. We have identified from our side at Babcock that we have shortages on diesel mechanics, therefore we're focusing on that. We've also identified the fact that most of our supervisors are not trained to manage people, and we're therefore focusing on that as well. Babcock Education and Training offers programs in plant machine operation, occupational trades, apprenticeships and soft skills training as an accredited training services provider in South Africa. The company's training facility, located in Boxburg, Gauteng, is an accredited provider of skills development and training in South Africa, recognised by the Quality Council for Trades and Occupations and relevant sector education training authorities. Training is facilitated by experts, ensuring comprehensive knowledge of operational needs and access to cutting-edge industry technologies, such as virtual reality welding simulators. Our advantage is around the fact that we are OEM backed up. So new technology, when it comes in, we've got our OEMs that feed that information for us and our facilitators get trained by the OEM. That puts us a little bit apart from normal training institutions and also we can provide practical training um, in our operating side. So as much as, as, as we are a training school, we also have a, a business where we can then take our learners in to be able to practically get exposure. And we're also using simulators now uh, to assess gaps uh, with our um, candidates' gaps. Party to that as well, with the new technology coming in from a technical perspective, from a specifically a Volvo, we are ahead of that because as soon as they have those technical um, developments, we then get to be part of that in time. So we are always staying abreast um, with new technologies in the areas that we operate. Collaboration with original equipment manufacturers such as Volvo and DAF thus help to ensure Babcock Education and Training's programs exceed industry standards. Meanwhile, Babcock Education and Training also offers customized programs to meet specific corporate social investment and skills development needs and ensures that its training aligns with the Department of Higher Education and Training's requirements and international markets focusing on high demand occupations. From an industry perspective, Sitola said the company also aims to partner with local communities to further uplift the industry. So that is really based on taking the industry and areas where we operate and incorporating communities where we operate. If we develop those communities for the industry, there's a mutual benefit. And the idea is to make sure that when we want to operate in those areas, we are able to actually invest with those communities. And together, community and industry can grow in that partnership. That's Kriva Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our Engineering News daily email newsletter.